as we are talking about this salvation the lord has brought to each one of us and this salvation we have to take care of it we begin to understand god brings salvation into our lives though we are sinners though we have lost the glory though we have gone away from him by only because of one reason because he is love first john chapter 4 verse 7 onwards we read god is love and he who lives in love lives in god it is not that we loved him but it is because first he focused on us and he loved us we read in the book of romans chapter 5 verse 7 to 8 maybe a good man may die for another good man but while we are still sinners god loved us and showed us what is love means yes that's why we always sing that beautiful game love it was that made us and love it was that saved us love was god's plan when he made man god's divine nature is love born of god love we must love him yes god is love and because of love he became a man for us because of love he saved us he redeemed us no other reason not that he doesn't have enough angels to praise him or to serve him not because of what we do to him he is going to get little more extra glory no he created us in love sometimes we go out of ourselves no other reason because sir of love the mother hugs the baby even though the baby has done some mistake because the mother thinks of the baby the mother knows about the baby a girl made a blunder and failed in the exam i called the mother and asked her tell your daughter to work hard and study the mother kept silent i asked her don't you understand your responsibility to tell your daughter no father this is not the time my daughter is so depressed if i say something more she may end her life that is her status this is not the time the mother knows mother knows the child has failed mother knows the child has not done the responsibility mother knows the child has destroyed the money the time everything one year of but still mother says this is not the time definitely i will tell but not now now my daughter is so depressed so frightened so worried that what we will do for her this is not the time this time she needs love she needs a revival she has to come back to her normal sense otherwise she will do foolish things love love goes beyond discipline love goes beyond 
even oneself. Yes, that's what God did for you and me. He did the foolish things that the world says, dying on the cross for us. God Almighty could have finished up those evil people. No. He continued to love. There is a scientist in Ekrishat, Patanjir. Once I had gone there and uh, he was doing some experiment and he got very good crop they were doing in maize. Uh, who will produce the best maize? So six scientists were given one acre of land. And this particular scientist, Mr. Sunny, his name, a Catholic man from Kerala, and he produced more. And I asked Sunny, what is the secret? The land is same. The availability, water, urea, whatever they want, they can take from the store. But I was told you used less of all those things. Still you got more crop. What is the real secret? He was telling, most of the people were trying to worried about the weeds. Of course, I too plucked the weeds first. But before they were all worried, they brought, they were worried about the medicine to keep the wheat, the weeds down and not allow the weeds to come back again. And, uh, but I was more concerned about strengthening the wheat. So I was trying to give manure to the wheat. I was trying to give how much water, what time the wheat needs. If I give full water, it will become a paddy. But it's wheat. So how much water we have to give? Only that much. I was concerned about its growth of the wheat. And I was taking care of the field. Yes. God loves us. Though we have fallen in sin, though we have destroyed those we are wounded, he is concerned about us. In, not that he doesn't know about our sin, not that he doesn't know about, about our fall, not that he doesn't know uh, about our failure, our irresponsibility, but he is concerned about us. He is concerned about his children. We read in the book of Genesis chapter 3, God created man in his goodness. It's true. Genesis 1.26 God blessed man and gave the ability to produce more, to fill this earth, to subdue the nations. It's true. Genesis 1.28 God breathed into man his own breath. It's true. Genesis 2.7 but when man sinned because the evil came and cheated him, cheated Eve and through Eve, Adam and they have fallen in sin and they come to realize that the wages of sin is death. The first thing that brought to them is shame. The second thing that brought them is to blame each other, to hurt each other. The Lord, they were not facing each other. The, they were made for each other. They became enemies. That's what the sin will do. Because there is a power behind the sin, the power of evil that tries to take us away from God 
and away from one another. 